Vaikra. One, Ola, the ascending offering. We start with the hardest one. Let the people know what they're in for before you lighten up with food. I think it was the voices in Ralph Wiggum's head that said, burn everything. And so, everything is burned. Every piece of the animal, nothing left but smoke. A pleasing fragrance to the Lord. A fan of barbecue, no doubt. When we give away something expensive, we all go up. Two, mincha, the meal offering. This is where the Italians got the idea for focaccia, unleavened bread drizzled in oil. You can see where we're going with this. The Lord was the first one to emphasize the importance of seasoning your food. Salt with salt, God says, as if one could salt with anything else. Don't forget the salt, God goes on, in the very same sentence. No wonder it took 40 years to get somewhere with so much time spent on these details. 3. Shelamim, the peace offering. The instructions for the peace offering read like an episode of Hannibal. The word blood already in verse 2 more than three times before we move on. Mentions of kidneys and innards and the fat that surrounds them. The liver makes an appearance. Who knew they were already concerned with the names of internal organs back before history could be proven? It seems peace always begins with death. 4. Chatat, the sin offering. Justice is delivered on a sliding scale. The wealthy gave a sheep or a goat, a person of lesser means, only two birds, a pauper required to bring a meal. Hopefully they didn't forget the salt. This was the first flat tax. People required to give what they could. No concern at all paid to the sin they committed. 5. Asham, the guilt offering. Have you ever crossed a line you didn't know was there, only to find yourself on the other side, surprised by the wreckage? Isn't it true it is only every other driver who is the pagan, until you veer into their lane with a wave of acknowledgement trying to communicate, that's not who I am. We are all unintentionally guilty. Prepare your kidneys. The Lord is hungry.